The first effect we can call the zapper, the glitch, the shocker, whatever it is, it doesn't really matter. We're going to go into the title track, double click, anywhere in the preview window, double click. And I'm going to now change the font. So what I want to do is obviously start with a different color. I had green, so I'm going to go for green. And now I'm just going to type in grips, like so. And I'm just going to center it for now. And then I'm going to go to the border. And I'm going to add an outer stroke. And I'm probably going to crank that outer stroke up to about 30. And that should be it. There you go. And then all I want to do now is probably resize it slightly. So I'm going to double click it on my footage grab one of the resize nodes and just crank it right up. I'm going to go back into the font and then recenter that. So now I have it lined up exactly. Well, it's not exactly, is it? Let's do that again. There you go. <laughs> All right. So it's very, very simple on how it's done, actually. What we need to do is we're going to go into the FX filters. And what we need to do is look for a thing called the mosaic. So just go into the search and you press M and you'll see it here. Mosaic click and drag release then we're going to highlight the star by left clicking on it filter it, mosaic you can really see what's going to happen here it's very simple my footage is two seconds and 20 frames so i want this to be roughly in the middle so i'm going to go to about one second and 10 frames and i'm going to create a keyframe here i'm going to bring this all the way down for the first keyframe right click and i'm going to copy and paste it all right so this keyframe and the last keyframe should be the same, yes. Now on this keyframe, I'm also going to keep it at all the way down at 2 and 2. And I'm just going to slightly move it forward. I'm going to add another keyframe. And now I'm going to adjust it to whatever effect that I want. Something like that. I'm going to move it probably a little bit more again. And then make another adjustment. Probably the so add a keyframe. Sorry about that. Move this the other way. It doesn't really matter. And then the last keyframe, the one next to it, right click, copy that. And then all we do now is right click and paste it. Now we've got this keyframe. Oh, what happened here? It doesn't matter. Okay, so it's basically took the attributes of the last one. That's a bit strange. But we can fix that. That's what we're here for. And that should look pretty good. We can preview it. We just bring it back here and we will see. Glitch. There you go. So the second one we need to do, go back in here, take out the M, and type in Earthquake. Click and drag that onto the footage. Same thing, left click, filter, Earthquake. Now we already knew that the we started at 1 second and 10 frames. So we're going to drag this slightly back to the beginning of 10 frames. We're going to keep use keyframes highlighted. And I'm going to, as soon as I adjust any of these, it's automatically going to create a keyframe. So... I still don't want any effect. Now all we have to do now is stay within 20 frames. So that here is fine with me. And now I'm going to create an effect. I'm going to move a little bit further again. Create another effect. Anything that's convincing that it looks like a shock. And then I'm going to go right to the last keyframe. And I can simply do that by pressing this one. And I'm going to bring it all the way back to zero. I'm going to press, just make sure this other one is also at zero. See, there you go. It wasn't. This is why it's always worth double checking. And that, by my friends, should almost be it. There you go. It is that simple. And all I did then was just added a sound effect of a zapper or anything like that. Wind effect, motion effect, whatever it is. I already have my text and my footage onto the timeline. However, I don't like the way this footage is going. I want it to go the other way. So just for me, I'm going to flip this by using the flip filter. And that should just flip it the other way. Again, I just did this for me. Obviously, if yours is right, blah, 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 blah. Let's get going. I already got my footage onto the timeline. What I'm going to be looking for is called the Gradient Fill Pro. So I'm just going to type in GR, Gradient Fill Pro. Click and drag it onto the title track. Double click or just left click, filter, Gradient Fill Pro. Okay, so what I want to do is I want to use the reds and the yellows. So I'm going to bring this, the current time indicator, all the way to the start. My first color, I want it to be more red. I'm going to press OK. And my secondary color, I want it to be yellow. And predominantly, these are the colors that I want to play with. 
Okay, so we're looking pretty good. I may then take this halfway up and then add another keyframe or have a look as it transitions into the colors towards the end. I don't mind this because it's a gradual blend, but I will have a look to see what the last keyframe does. I can drag it or I can just highlight or click this note here. So as you can see, it goes from white to black and that's not what I want. I'm going to now want it to the first color to be yellow. Press OK. And then the second color to be red. So it has a nice little transition of red to yellow red to red yellow. Let's have a look at that. Press play. Okay. Now if I had some movement in mine as well. So I may Oh, what happened to my keyframe in the middle here? It's gone. That's okay. I can then adjust this and which automatically makes a keyframe here. And I may just actually choose a completely different color here just to just to add some intensity to the uh, project or well, visual effect so let's go have a look so you will see in the preview window what's going to happen it's going to rotate like so and it's also going to rotate on your footage this is 100 percent totally up to you how you wish to do this let's have a look in the beginning and then let's have a look at the end okay i think this is probably a bit too violent so i'm going to drag it more here and i like that look and again it's completely how you wish to proceed or have the look you're after i like that okay now what i'm after here is more of a motion effect or a wind effect so i'm going to look for the wind filter onto my footage left click onto the star filter wind it's very good all i want to do now is make it go the other way so to the left as you can see now it's going to the left I wish to start it off slow and by the time it hits the end I've got a pretty strong effect on that one there you go and that looks pretty good like I said it's very simple how to do all these and let's have a look voila once again create your text and then what we're going to be doing is we're going to add a filter called the punch effect. Now be careful, I'm going to show you something. If I go into the title effects here, you will also see the punch filter. But this is not the one we want. So what we want is called the FX punch. I'm just going to type in punch. It should pop up as soon as I do this. Punch. Oh, sorry, let's go into all and then it'll pop up. Okay, so FX punch, drop, drag. Let's left click onto the star, filter, FX punch. Now the difference between the two is the other punch, if I go to the, my last keyframe, the punch filter just goes from left to right or right to left, and that's all you can do. Where this one, you can move it in any direction you want, and then it creates whatever it is that you need. So all I did, I just made it go all the way to the end, and then I just brought back the radius to zero, and that brings my title or my text back to the original look. If I press play, it should give me that effect. So you can adjust it to however you need it. And then you'll see, okay. Now you can obviously, like I said, adjust it to how you need. Now, secondly, what I did, I added in a, a Vitacine filter. So I'm gonna go to ProDad and I'm gonna grab the Vitacine filter, click drag, release left click filter vitacine okay now you most likely just come to these two and what you want is the transition group so double click and then you'll go down here and you'll see the text logo effects and you can have a ton of fun of this and all i did was i clicked this one here and then do give you a preview oh that's not the one i chose uh, speckled wipe there you go speckled wipe that's and what it'll do it will give you a bit of a preview and if you like it and you want to apply it just go up here and then just hit this little it looks like a powerpoint or a plug now let's have a look and now we've got little speckles going through it at the same time and once again i just added the sound effects to give that a little bit more of an impact The next effect is called the reveal text, and it's very simple. The Video Studio does offer you a preset. So let's have a look at the preset first. So I'm going to highlight my text track, 
it's going to bring up the motion tabs or all, all these tabs here we want to highlight the motion and check apply now you'll see all the presets already for you let's just pick something off random and then view it and then you'll see exactly what it does so it does a reveal and it goes back away what we can also do is customize this basically highlight your clip again all right so now you can see that it's telling you that it's going to come in from the bottom and then it's going to go back down so you can change this make it into a static hold if you want you can also change it per character per line or per word which is kind of cool so you have a lot of options to change how you want this to affect your text but let's say you're after something very unique so you want to apply a custom reveal it's a bit of a workaround but bear with me uh, just remember where this flower is because that's the beginning of your text and I'll show you why in a minute I'm going to highlight the first clip or the what's on the uh, main track now I can't see my text but I do know that it starts around about here I'm going to grab my pen tool and I'm basically going to create a custom reveal so I might do something like this it doesn't really matter what I'm doing is just to show you a custom reveal I'm going to then go on to my move mask and I'm going to go all the way to the last keyframe and I'm just going to drag this all the way across like so. So it's going to reveal all my text. I may even move it down a bit and let's have a look. So, so what we need to do now is we need to take this one down and then move the text in between the two like so. And now it's going to create exactly what we want okay good now all I need to do is reverse that mask and we're good to go I probably need to tidy that up a bit it looks a bit off uh, let's have a look all we need to do is move them the move mask have a look at what the text is doing to the end okay I can see where it went wrong invert the mask press OK and now it should okay we need to fit this to screen too bit of a mess isn't it and here we go there we go so it's a little bit off but you now get the general idea oh no it's okay there you go this is how you create your custom reveal text for the last effect effect number five I'm just basically going to do video through mask. So what I had done, I had found some footage on the internet and an ink splash, a water droplet, anything that gives me what I'm after. So once I have that onto my main track, I'm going to go for the mask creator. And all I'm going to do is just type over whatever I need. So I'm going to go for the type mask right here. Double click. I'm going to type the word fire. And then what you really want to do with this type of thing is pick very bold font. So I think I used alphabet. Here it is. We can have a little look at it if everything's fine. Yeah. Now you may not see it, but it's already applied. So we're going to go into OK. It's going to create another one in the overlay track. And then we no longer need the main track filter because now we have created that font right here. And then obviously you want something that matches that font or the the fire effect and i chose this and then that combination worked quite well so there you go my friends i hope you learned quick five easy text effects and as always thanks for watching